Hello everybody, welcome back to my uh, to my vlog. Now today we've got this MFJ portable tuner. I don't like calling them tuners because we don't actually tune the antenna, you match the antenna to the transmitter. And this has come through, I got it second hand. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because uh, straight away I have to do something with it. But so you can see here, look, there's the um, socket for the transmitter side, patch lead between my transmitter. It's HF, this is for HF, to this socket. This one goes out to the antenna. But you can put a balanced line on here, so you can use, like, they call it window line or ladder line. A few different names for it. And you can stick a, a long wire in on this one, which is, it can either be a random length long wire, or it can be one that's sort of pre-cut to near enough the bands, uh, where then you'd use this to match it to the transceiver in order not to cause any issues that way. But, can you hear that? It has something inside. Something that's rattling. And that just won't do. So I figured, all right then, while I've got to go in there and get that out, why not take a peek inside and we'll all have a look and see what's inside here. Now, what I'm expecting to see is an inductor which is going to have taps on it. Because here, you've got this different settings. And that will be depending on what band or frequency range you're going to be um, wanting your antenna to be matched to. So let me just pop those on there out of the way. And there's going to be some capacitors in here. Wow! Now that looks groovy. Oh, let me put that there. Look at this, look. Look at this. This is, uh, so we've got these um, two um, air core capacitors. Uh, I'm just going to, let me just, there it is. I just wanted to see if I could find the little, uh, little bit there that's um, rattling around. So I'm just going to tip that onto the table. There it is. Yeah, it looks like it might be. Not quite sure. I'm sure we'll see as we go through. I just pop that there. So yeah, look at this look. So new switch. It says 30th for the fifth zero seven. See how in there? Zippy. <laughs> I may be guessing that that's the name. So. Right, so we got these. Uh, so this is our inductor. It's multi-turn inductor, and as you can see, there's taps on it, starting at the top. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They go all the way down to the bottom. These taps all that round, and so. Um, JK, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah. Um, well, yeah, so we've got our capacitance. Look at those. Those are beautiful, aren't they? I don't know what this is going on down here. It's a bit, eh, uh, that's a bit, all right. I'll probably get a bit of, um, yeah, ice, ice, ice tropital, oh, rubbing alcohol 
on a uh, cotton bud. Get in there and just get that a bit of a clean. A whole bunch of stuff here. I mean, I don't, don't want to be touching. This has all been pre-set up. Um, we got a power switch here. And this is good for 200 watts. And this... I'm going to have to find a manual and read this to see what this is. Now, this is um, 12 volts, so you can connect <coughs> a lamp. So, there's a lamp in here. And then you can have it light up at the back, so it looks pretty spiffing. Again, for the uh, air capacitor. Well, that just keeps going round and round. I wonder if this one does the same. Round and round and round, yeah. It's nice and firm as well. There's no slacky slacky on there. The same as this. It's beautiful though, isn't it? And then the more plates cross. I don't know, it's less capacitance. And that would be the full range. But yeah, this is uh, very nice. Very nice indeed. I do like this whole type of thing. I did think about getting an automatic antenna tuner. But I think for somebody like myself, um, it sort of takes away. There's a jumper there, so there's A and B on it. I don't know if you can see that. Down the bottom here, it's got an A and a B. Don't know what that's for. And there's a ferrite ring in here as well. And we got turns on this. And this is where the balance line, line comes in. So I wonder if that's a little ballon. Well, no. It'll be a bal bal. Balanced ballon. I don't know. Um, but that is a transformer of sorts. Doing some transformering. Just trying to see. These are good old stiff bits of wire. So yeah, that's the look inside there. So this is a uh, looks like it's got this 1999 board in there. I just you can see that there. MFJ Enterprises. This is an American. Uh, this is model MFJ 971. As it says there as well, PN 8610971 revision 1. Well, that's the look inside that. Um, here you've got a um, two needles. And where they cross is, I think that's where the VSWR is. So you've got your forward power going out all the way up to 200 What's there in actual that? I think that end one says 300. But the one just inside says 200. And then you've got your reflected. Um, the signal that's reflected back from the antenna if it's not matched correctly. And with playing around with these. And this is what we'll do now over the next like, week or two. I'm going to try and see if I can uh, um, set up some antennas and... There'll be well if I like I can I can do one tomorrow. It's because we've had a lot of rain and um, it's not very good for trying to do all that sort of stuff in the rain. But I've got a one-to-one -one ballon, which means I can put a balance a dipole on that. So if I go sixteen four feet five meters and a bit one way off the dipole and then off the other leg of the dipole, because it's. Um, and it'll be fed with some antenna and then have one coming off this way and one coming off this way. Um, we can sort of tune that, this is at five meters, we can tune that for like a 20, 20 meter band, that's 14 megahertz area. And then we can uh, use this just to fine tune um, or finely match slightly untuned antenna to this, 
even though that's not really what it's for for that particular thing because with just one dipole you'd you'd set it to you 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 tune it in by cutting it back extending it or you'd start off with it longer and then cut it back to get it to where you want it to be uh, but this is going to work with a a long wire antenna like an n-fed half wave where it'll have let's say it's um for 40 meters yeah which is seven megahertz area and then it'll have its um harmonics coming off but they could be slightly out so you can have a few that are in line you know so you got to we're gonna have the antenna will give us 40 meters 20 meters 15 uh, or uh, 21 15 12 10 possibly even six depending on how it's done but some of these won't be quite right because you know it, 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 it the, the way it works is it's it, it shunts things off a little bit so some will be in place some won't be in place and that's where something like this comes in handy because for the ones that are in place that's all good uh, they're in the right areas but for the ones that aren't quite there instead of chopping around with a wire and then knocking in the other ones out you'll use something like this um to to sort that out and the great beauty about this of course is it says on the front portable i mean it's not as portable as some of them out there that have their own battery packs and they're automatic but like i say i i want to be able to do this myself to get a bit more of an understanding on what's doing what and how it works so there you go there's the inside of the mfj portable tuner the mfj 971 i think it looks beautiful the only thing i'm going to do is like i said i'm going to get a cotton bud with a bit of uh, alcohol on it and uh, just just clean that a little bit up there and then i'll pop the case back on it and um make a patch lead up because i've not even made a patch lead up for between here and my uh my transceiver all right guys well if you got this far thank you very much for watching and i will uh come back to you very soon and we'll be playing around with long bits of wire and seeing if we can uh match it all up bye for now